Mondays or Fridays work for us. So we're at, uh, it's a guy that kind of watches like Someone said you should do weekends and every other week not to overwhelm yourself. I think that that is probably the route we'll go at first, right? Like every other week? Yeah, we're gonna do, I think at least for the first like maybe three or four videos, we're gonna do like every two weeks just to get the hang of it. Mm -hmm. um, He's doing all the editing right now. And yeah, I'm actually like, I'm like, Kind of I mean, applause. I'm just trying to, I'm, I, it, I just wanted to learn something new, so I decided I'd... I, Take I mean, it into his own hands. Editing's pretty, I think it's pretty easy. I mean, it's just iMovie and kind of like, I honestly wonder if you can edit on CapCut, even with a video that long. But what'd you guys think of the editing to, of, of the teaser video? Was that, was that up to standard? Vlog bits and pieces every day throughout the week and post a roundup weekly vlog on Sundays. That's a good idea. Wait, what did it say? Like, like bits and pieces of every day throughout the week and then post a roundup weekly vlog. So post like, every like, day? No, like just like grab snippets of like every, like the whole um, week essentially. Mm, mm. Which is kind of what we did. We just did our weekend though. Yeah. Can we get behind the scenes on Absolutely. I will post you know we're super super top secret because we're big on not wanting to spill any tea on storylines or anything like that but whatever i can um like in your trailer and stuff. in my trailer anything like that yeah absolutely i would love to take y'all along i feel like it's something that i've never really well besides like my tiktoks and like stories but it'd be fun to show you the machine that brings you good trouble. <laughs> food reviews, yeah, we could do we could do f of some food reviews. Food reviews, I'm food so with that because I am a big foodie. So are you? We Should we food. tell them what we're what we're doing the week after next? Or should we wait for that? Um, well, I mean, I think we can just tease it by saying it's Jonathan's 28th birthday. You didn't have to say my age. You didn't have he to say my age. He's turning 28. I'm like, that's not old. I've, I'm 28 myself. We'll be 28 for the same, for how many months? Till March. Mm -hmm. And then I'll turn 29. So I'm going to enjoy every minute of being the same age as because he calls me old all the time. Um, but... My point being, his birthday's coming up and we are gonna go celebrate it in a big way with some friends. And I'm definitely really excited. It's a place that I've never been. You've never been. It's gonna be cold. That's all we'll That's say. That's the hint. It's gonna That's be cold. That's the hint. So I'm gonna say, what we do Vlogmas for Christmas? Isn't that when you post a vlog every day? Every day? I don't think I could do that. Well, okay, what if we do like one a week? I mean, that does, that's, that isn't. I mean, that's, that's not Vlogmas. Okay, well, we're. we're Maybe it's like our vlogmas. I don't know. First of all, has everyone in here subscribed, liked, commented? I've actually been. In I the, hope y'all um, have. I've actually been in the comments responding to what people. What camera will y'all be using? We have. Um, we're gonna get another one because. <laughs> so I don't. So know. I think I saw you at KBBQ yesterday. You sure did. We were pigging out. So good. So right now we have this Sony, um, I think it's the XMR RS 4K. Um, we have the little kit. And it like, it flips. You can take, yeah. do selfies. So we had actually had this camera for like a year. Sierra had gotten it um, for her- For like auditions. At home auditions. But then the strike happened. So um, it had never left the box. <laughs> So, um, when, while we decided to start the vlog, it was actually easier because we already had the camera. But one thing that we're going to be doing, um, I don't know if a lot of other couples do it, but, um, we're going to have like a lot of nights where we like do separate things with our friends. So like she'll get her, you know, content for the night and I'll get my content for the night and we'll uh, put it together. So we're actually going to order, I don't know if we'll order another one of these. I don't know if there's a better vlog camera you guys can recommend. But if there is, we're going to get another vlog camera. So that we can both have them separately and combine our content.
Yeah, I don't, I think this is a good camera. Anyone that know cameras know if this is a good block camera? Let us know. Wedding planning stuff. Yeah, we gotta start, um, gotta start planning. He's very excited about that part. <laughs> the bachelor party planning. Where's the- They're oh saying my God, the, the camera's good. Oh, it is? The Dr. Evil, you gotta repost that. Oh yeah. Will Savannah be featured? Absolutely. Absolutely she will. So it's like, wow, he's cute. You bagged a hot man, Sierra. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Are we going to prank each other? I feel like we're always pranking each other. Doing something. Yeah, that's actually, I mean, yeah. I, I would love to do that. I would love to do that. <laughs> Another fun thing and actually fun fact about the little teaser that we posted today. Um, so, you know, with YouTube, you can't really post a lot of like copyright to copywritten <laughs> songs. Um, and there are, you know, Jonathan makes music. So a lot of his songs that are vaulted are, and just like instrumental, he can use. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so I can like... So, so the, the song in the teaser today was yours. Yes. It was like, I have like a bunch of like beats and instrumentals that I won't like use. So I just have like so much music that I can <laughs> just use. Here, mom. Um, you know what I was thinking about though? If it's my song and I already put it out, can I use it for a video? Because they might still take it down because it is someone's song and they don't know if it's going to be my song. I'm not sure. Um, Jonathan, you're a great guitar player. I don't play guitar. <laughs> um, so uh, the guy who plays guitar for me is a great guitar player. I wish I played guitar. Um, but yeah, I feel like all the music, or at least most of it, will be um, my music. I'll like try to um, incorporate new music that's not out into videos and like premiere it there. Oh. All right, just take over the Lennon camera. Lennon wants to say hello. I'm like this. Where's her air tag at? I didn't put it on her. Did I see her put an air tag on her? And it was the biggest. <laughs> it was hanging thing. down here. I got one that you can put on her actual collar. Jonathan, you got any hot friends? Not any hot single friends. <laughs> All my friends are hot. But I think they got snatched <laughs> up early. How did you guys meet? I feel like you, we could tell the story. We met through a mutual friend at the club. Can you believe it? Fell in love at the club. <laughs> She's like just like... Straight up taking over this live. God bless Lemon. <laughs> oh, thank you. We have a lot of Foster fans in the house. Yeah, I, I, she, does she know she's on live? She's staring yeah, she's at y'all. She's chilling. I, hey, oh. get down. She said... Hey, IG aunties and uncles. Okay, she's never been on the table before and she's stressing me out. <laughs> Get down. Here for it. Love you and your sis. Thank you so much. I hope y'all are excited the way that we are. Congratulations on your engagement. Thank you. It still feels really weird. Like, I have a whole ass fiance. I love saying that to people. Yeah, my fiance. Sounds a my lot fiance. more mature. Yeah. And the first thing everyone always asks is, when's the wedding? When's the wedding? But I will just preface by saying, I really love this fiance era. And I'm going to enjoy it for a minute. Mm -hmm. Are you? Am I going to enjoy it for a minute? <laughs> I mean, I guess you kind of have to. For, yeah. Uh, no. Two takes two. Tango to get married, you know. 
People respect you a lot more when you say like fiance, like oh I'm getting a drink for my fiance. Or, oh I love oh, I'm that. Waiting for my fiance, people will, like take you a lot more seriously. <laughs> like oh I have to like, you know, this guy is a little more mature. Oh. Wait, someone was with us at Mr. Jones in Miami. Wait, where does it say that? We went so fast. Come on, go down, go down, go down. We're, we're... Has Jonathan watched Good Trouble? Yeah. He watches every episode. I've seen episodes you guys haven't seen. Uh, uh. <laughs> Why did I didn't mean that sexually. Oh, yeah. I haven't seen a lot of the Fosters, honestly. So a we gotta reaction, do some binging. A reaction video to me watching some scenes in the Fosters would be cool. Oh. Had such a see. Oh my god, it keeps going away. I had such a blast with you guys at Mr. Jones in Miami. I'm Mr. Jones. That was the one that had like the car that um that you remember um who was it? Was it Shayla or Matt? Look, Daddy? the Rams are here. Oh the yeah, Ra the Rams. The Rams joined in. Congrats on your win yesterday. <laughs> and think she's a pit bull. You might hear her growling. I like that you guys look alike. I've, we've never gotten that. We've I've never before. gotten that in my life. Mm -hmm. Maybe just the dark hair. Hablas español. Yo hablo un poquito español. Ella habla... Nada. Nada. I'm a no sabo kid. And that's okay. Ram, come to our next game. We they're, are there. They're flirting with us. <laughs> yes. Please and thank you. Do I ever rewatch The Fosters? Honestly, I will go through phases where I will want to start it over and it freaks me out because we are all just such babies on there. I can't believe it's been almost 11 years that I've been playing Mariana. It's been such a blessing to grow up with y'all in a way. I um I personally like to watch her in The Sweet Life of Zack and Cody mm -hmm. because it's just funny to see. It's like when I look at her in her baby version of herself, she kind of still looks like the baby. In a, I think I've probably grown like six inches. Yeah. <laughs> I'm like, yeah, very tiny. Come to Kansas City. Kansas City has some of the best queso I've ever had in my life. You've been Random, to Kansas City? I have. And I don't know why, but I had some really good queso there, and I'm from Texas, so I would, I would tell you. Oh, well, they want to know about the directing. Oh, my gosh. I haven't even really... I feel like if you know, you know... Um, when they announced that we were still on strike, so I couldn't really talk about anything business related and I've been trying to figure out like a way to announce it. Like if I want to make a big post about it, like when I, when it's airing or just like come out and say it, I guess I'm saying it now. I had the opportunity to direct for the first time on Good Trouble and the entire experience was just like out of this world. It was amazing. I had so much fun. I'm so happy uh, with the episode and I can't wait for all of you to see it, but it was such an amazing learning experience. And again, like working with this crew for five plus years and kind of working with them in a different light was just amazing. And everyone was so supportive really just wanted to see me win and that was so much fun and I can't wait to share more thank you guys everybody's proud thank you it's something that I've always wanted to do and the showrunners on my show and Freeform came to me with the opportunity 
Um, and I absolutely said yes. Um, but yeah. <laughs> She's a director. <laughs> People are asking if we're going to save this live. Oh yeah, we'll save it. Um, we were contemplating on going live here for like 20 minutes and then maybe going to my TikTok because I've actually never gone live on TikTok in my entire life. I feel like more people these days go live on TikTok than Instagram, right? Yeah, I watch Terry Joe anytime she's live. <laughs> I love TikTok live. Everyone that's on here right now, do you guys um do you guys watch TikTok live more or Instagram live more? You say that as they're here on Well, I <laughs> yeah, I know, but they, they I mean maybe they came because they got a notification. So maybe like I don't know. Oh thank you, Isaac. Oh you he... You said we're <laughs> Um, oh, a bunch of people are asking if you're keeping Ramirez as your last name, too. Um, I think we're going to have to hyphenate it. I'm known as Sierra Ramirez, especially, like, in my acting career. Um, but God willing, when we have future babies, they'll, they'll be Gonzalez's. Yeah. No, I think she should keep Ramirez and hyphen John, um, Gonzalez. I mean, it's her brand. So, um, when you get married, prioritize your relationship with God. Aww. Terry Joe, Terry Joe said that. <laughs> but I absolutely agree with that. Does anyone ever mix your sister for you? All the time. Um, actually, <laughs> the other day I took her to the bank. I had a meeting with my banker and we were at the, the bank had this booth and she was sitting on one side, I was sitting on the other and they were coming from the direction where they were looking at her and they're like, Sierra, I'll be where, and then they looked at me and they're like, wait, wait, there's two of you. <laughs> they totally thought I was Savannah. But anytime we're together, at least once a day, we get asked if we're twins. We get it all the time. Love Mariana. Mariana loves you. Wait, did we see what people were saying of TikTok or Instagram? They're saying Instagram. Really? But they're saying I think someone said you can you make money off the TikTok ones. Oh, right, because they send gifts and everything. Send gifts! <laughs> Imagine Savannah needs to be on Good Trouble. Imagine we just find out Mariana's an, a triplet. <laughs> All right. What, you want to get off already? Well, you're not saying anything. Um, uh. <laughs> oh, it, uh, uh, uh. Let's see, what else? How long have we been together? Um, since 2018, so almost five, year, five years. We just celebrated four, actually, so like four and a half. Um, who's the evil twin between you and Savannah? Hi, Caitlin, I love that question. Um... I think, I think Savannah. Me? No. Really? Yeah, you're. She's so pure. She's not evil, but like she, she's the like the quieter one. Okay. You're like the more bubbly one. Mm -hmm. I mean, there is really no evil twin. Yeah. Like we're all sugar. Like I'd call myself probably the evil twin and my sibling, <laughs> right? Yeah, you're definitely the evil twin. I ain't evil though. Have you been to Spain? Yeah. yeah. We went this summer for the first time. And we have, that's our Roman Empire. We have not stopped thinking about it. Yes, we love, we went to Mallorca, Barcelona, and Ibiza. Barcelona. And I was actually, like, not surprised, but, like, I was very, I thought it was very cool how many um, fans you had in Spain. Right? Yeah. It was, like, a lot. 
I was very surprised in, by that too, in actually. In Paris too, in Europe in general. Like, you were very, like... Yeah, well, I, I don't really travel a whole, whole lot. So I guess, yeah, I've never experienced it. But I, yeah, I was really amazed. A lot of people watch The Fosters and Good Trouble there. Yeah, like, a lot. No one, no one knew me, but it's okay. I've never seen siblings that look so similar to you and Sab. Yeah, I know. We, they literally said copy and paste. My mom said copy and paste. What's y'all's ethnicity? I am Mexican and Colombian, and Jonathan is. Cuban and Mexican. Same but different. Same, same but diff. <laughs> um, when are you going to Australia this year? Oh, I want to go so bad. I'm missing my Maya Mitchell. I'm missing her so bad. I've never been, can you believe it or not? In all my years of knowing her. Um, is it, we're getting like a, Where's it's your, so hard to read the questions when you're going out because then they, they just move down. Where's your next place of travel? To, I think we were thinking Dubai or Tokyo, right? That's what our last well, conversation was. Well, we have one coming up in the next couple weeks. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I, which I, is in the U.S., but I think he's talking about like... Like out of, out the, of the country. country. Yeah. We try to do, I think, I mean, we've only been doing it for two years, but for the last two years, every summer, we pick like a new destination and we like, we go for like 10 days. Before um, I met him, I had only been out of North America. Like I'd only been to Canada and Mexico. Like I had only been to North America, North, America. North American places. So I, I had only been out of the, wait. Yeah, no, I think I had only gone, I'd only been in North America. I hadn't left the continent. Turks and Caicos is considered North America, right? Is it? That's what I was trying to figure out. That sounds so dumb. I don't, don't. It's super close it's, to it's, Florida. It's a Caribbean it's islands, a, right? Yeah. Okay, Caribbean, so yeah. Ca Ca so yes, then I have. Caribbean. Caribbean. I always get Caribbean and Caribbean mixed up. It's the same thing, right? Pirates of the Caribbean, Pirates of the Caribbean. I Yeah, I, I don't know. I'm, that one always gets me too. If you could do a vacation episode of Good Trouble, where would you go? Okay, I have been trying to pitch this for years, especially because it's based in downtown Los Angeles. Like, there's no reason why a group of 20-somethings all living together would not go to Vegas. Imagine them taking on Vegas hangover, like, that would be, that would be dope. I would love have to see them. filmed... Anywhere for good trouble, like outside of LA? Mm mm. Like, you guys haven't gotten anyone's show, right? We sure have not. And the Fosters, where'd you go? Just Turks? Turks. Toiks? Toiks. Yeah, but, um, oh my god, it would have been such a good vlog if we would have vlogged when we went to Europe. Yeah, so that's what I'm saying. Like, we should have started a year, like, if we would have started it when he made the channel. We could have had a lot of cool content. But you know what? We're starting it now. It's all that matters. It's going to be a lot of good trip. After this year, it's probably going to be even more eventful than last year. So, mm -hmm. I mean, other than the engagement, because that won't happen again. Miranda, they sure could. I'm telling you, this would be an amazing episode. Who said something about Kate Beckinsale? <laughs> That's his quarrel. Did it say Kate Beckinsale or Karen's Bachelor? I don't know why I saw Kate Beckinsale. Because that's my girl. Do you want to watch The Click or something? No. Click or something? No, we're going to watch Meet the Fockers tonight. Um, We've been quoting Meet the Fockers all day. Oh, snap. You know what I just realized, dude? Thursday's Thanksgiving. Mm-hmm. I realized that, but... <laughs> it was Karen's Bachelorette. Oh, okay. That was like Kate Beckham. <laughs> um, I know we have our, our, our plan to vlog <laughs> my birthday <laughs> trip, but we should probably also <laughs> vlog Thanksgiving. We should. We're doing Thanksgiving at the Gonzalez household this year. Mm -hmm. Last year we did Houston for Thanksgiving um, and Christmas in Downey, where I'm from, which is LA. Uh, this year we're doing... Uh, Thanksgiving here and uh, Christmas in Houston. So um, I am Mexican and Cuban, so we have like a Mexican Cuban um, Thanksgiving. So it's like a lot of uh, kind of.
kind of what we would eat already, but just like black beans and tamales and what else is what what else do we eat that's different than like a normal Thanksgiving? Pig. Oh yeah, pig. <laughs> pig. Pig. <laughs> Pig. Um, I didn't grow up with like roasting the whole pig like that. What happened to your hairline? What happened to my hairline? <laughs> <laughs> oh my god! Is it receding? I read something about when you wear your hair up a lot. <laughs> I mean, it looks fun. Jonathan. No. <laughs> Not you just like blurting it out. We couldn't just like read it in our minds. <laughs> Someone said you look like Jesse Rutherford. They're talking to you. <laughs> They're talking to you. Thank you. Thanks, Queen. Um, what were you talking about? Oh, for food. Like, <laughs> um... <laughs> Listen, y'all, I'm about to go stare in this mirror. My hair looks. <laughs> I think it looks the same. Like, I've always had like a weird little. Widow's you know, uh -huh. So nothing's changed. No. Oh, okay. I mean, sorry. I, I didn't think... even call out the comment. I don't think it's changed. I think it looks <laughs> fine. Thank you. Um, okay, back to the. Um, <laughs> back to the food. Back to the food. I. What's y'all's favorite? Thanksgiving part of like what's your favorite part of the meal I was telling someone the other day that like not that I, it bothers me when you touch when my when my food is touching like the other food I've never been that type of person but there's something about tur like Thanksgiving food that I could put it in a blender and just drink it up <laughs> like I want I want a piece of everything on on my bike Am, am I crazy? Y'all are saying macaroni, the side, yes. What are, wait, so what, what are we making this year? We make every, I, she makes something new every year and I attempt to make mac and cheese every year and every year I don't like it, but I'm going to, I'm going to do it again and I'm going to do it good. Send again. your mac and cheese recipes because Jonathan. They're not, it's not bad. But I just, I, I feel like it's good, and then every time I bake it, it dries it out. This year, like, I'm not going to bake it, right? Because I feel like... No, you, like... I, I found I found a, a recipe. I'll share it. It looks so good. It looks so good. But yeah, maybe we'll do like a... And you have to bake it. We'll do like a, a cooking video and a vlog for Thanksgiving. Yes, because every year I make better than sex pumpkin cake. And then the cornbread, right? In cornbread casserole. Wait, didn't you say what you were going to make this year? Yes, I am going to attempt um, the milk bar pumpkin cheesecake that I saw on TikTok. I don't know if any of you have seen it. Oh my gosh. I thought you were making the Ritz crackers thing. No, there's something else you're making, wasn't there? Oh, that's the one that I showed you. The oh, mac and cheese with the Ritz crackers. Um... Oh, look what they said. If you don't want to bake it, just torch the top. To make yeah. it crunchy. Yeah. Think, You're brilliant. That's so smart. Yeah, I, that is good. Because I, I feel like, like, what is like a mac and cheese? Without? I feel like there's a lot of good, creamy mac and cheese. And I'm like, there's no way these have been baked. <laughs> Bears in a blanket. I've seen those. They're so cute. What's Japanese cheesecake? Isn't it the one that's like jiggles? Or maybe... Is it? Actually, I don't know. Red or white wine? I'm a red gal. Red. But I love a rosé. Are you looking at my whiny babies? <laughs> what are those things? They're wine. That's wine? It's, um, it was made by a Gen Zer to kind of help, like, get Gen Z into drinking wine, but it's so cool. Explain it a little bit. That was so cool because it's like you can. It has a sticker that you can peel for like a memory from this bottle, and then like the twist off of it all. Just love. And they're so cute. Some of them come with like charms on them. With ice cubes. Jonathan yes. loves it with ice cubes. 
it may be tacky, but I don't like anything lukewarm. This is linen. She always has a hand on you. She's scrilling. What does that light behind you mean? This must be the place. It's my favorite Talking Heads song. I always said I wanted that song played at my funeral. That's morbid. It's pretty morbid, but I don't care. I love it. Thanksgiving food hot take. Um, cranberry's not good. Um, no. My grandma made the best cranberry sauce because she would make it with jello. I mean, I like it's not it. Out, cranberry look, sauce out the can. Yeah, look. It's just something I'm, I'm never like, damn, I really could have used cranberry. No, my, mom, my grandma would make it with um, pineapple chunks, strawberry jello, and coconut flakes. Bomb. Chef's kiss. Ham is not good. Someone said ham's not ham good. Ham is not good. Thank you. you. Don't like it? Hi, Angie. I miss you. I think ham's good. I prefer ham over the turkey for sure. Honestly, I could do without up a ham like on like a Hawaiian bread roll. Yeah, I mean, I like the that. That sounds like the next turkey. day. Turkey is not that good. Yeah, turkey is not that good. Hot take. Um, actually, you know what I did see. I was going to say hot take, leftovers are better than when they're fresh. And I saw someone made stuffing waffles. I want to make a leftover sandwich like that. Oh, that's what you were looking to make. You, you were going to make stuffing waffles. Aren't yes. you going to make that? Well, that's the next day. Oh, you just do it the next day? Do you know the Muffin Men? Do you know the Muffin Men? I don't, don't. The one that lives on Drury Lane? <laughs> is that from Shrek? That's it's like a... Tale, right? mm -hmm. like a mm -hmm. Deadpool is, um... Yes. Yeah, I love it. This boy look like Adam Sandler. Who said that? <laughs> Stop it. Stop it now. I can kind of see it like a young Adam. I don't know. I don't see it. I don't see it at all. Deadpool, no, dead, 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 We haven't seen Blue Beetle yet. Yeah, I know. We haven't been to the movies in so long, and then we went twice in a row. We watched Priscilla, and we watched Killers of, of the Flower Moon. Oh, my God. That movie was amazing. I was about to say Killers of the Foster Moon. He's got the fosters in on his mind. He needs to um he needs to binge, I think. Yeah. If that was for the hairline does. That exact that absolutely was what? Me saying he looked like Adam Sandler. Even though I think he's cute. Someone goes Cause he always gets it. He goes, No, I don't look like Adam Sandler. I'm like, you kinda do. Um if I think Adam Sandler. So I have handsome. a question for you guys. If you guys were trying to get me into the fosters <laughs> Which episode would you guys say I should watch first? What's your favorite episode? Side note, dog paws smell amazing. <laughs> totally killer. We saw that movie, we right? We did watch Killer. That was... Totally a Killer. Totally Oh, killer. Totally Killer. I watched Totally Killer, too. Girl, I haven't been in the movies in two years. I feel I know like it's 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 you know, especially when it's so accessible from home. I know everything comes out on, on um Netflix or Amazon or Apple or Peacock or Disney Plus or Paramount Plus. Well even <laughs> Killers of the Flower Moon, we went to go see it and someone was like, um well, did you watch it at home? And I was like, no, we went to the movies. They're like, oh yeah, it's already out. At home. Oh, someone just said Thanksgiving movie is good. That Thanksgiving, like that's that movie. Um, like oh, the horror the movie. Horror right? movie. Interest, is it? Ad Addison Rae in it? Blue Beetle's on Max now. We'll watch that tonight. Oh yeah.
Your background is giving you ASMR vibes. She's like, stop. Um, I think I'm going to wrap this up. Okay. But I had a lot of fun. And maybe we'll do this again soon. Yeah, we've been on for like almost an hour. That went by quick. Really? Maybe we should start going live. Um, maybe I'm going to put my foot in my mouth, but maybe we should go live like every day when we um, upload the videos. Someone's like, give Lennon a kid. Give me a kid, Lennon. Give me a kid. She? She, like, she, literally she. ducked that. Um, yeah, thank you guys for tuning in. I hope all of y'all subscribed. Oh, yeah, subscribe. Stay tuned. And, yeah, Sierra's going to be in the comments uh, responding to everyone. Yes. Right? Yes. So go comment because Sierra will be there all night until she has responded to every single last Okay, message. I don't know about all that. Right? No, Jonathan's going to be doing them too. And then even Lennon. <laughs> <laughs> um so yeah but stay tuned we have some fun stuff coming i'm excited to start this little journey with y'all and you bye, bye guys good night mm, smells good